Hey YouTube, what's up my home dogs? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know you know the what's up. What's up is that there's a new tutorial in After Effects. I'm going to show you what it is. This is on creating dynamic and just pretty much generally totally fucking kick-ass titles. So let's get down to it. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to transform something that looks kind of like this. IRB Tez Izzergriz of my montage, I mean montage, change something like this into something like this. Granted, this still ain't the best thing in the world, but it's a huge improvement. Yeah, it did create that in like three minutes. Shows how much I care about you guys. Take like three minutes to set up for a tutorial, ain't that great? Anyways, yeah, so, I mean, ain't, ain't that just like the best titles ever I mean those should have totally been in the matrix anyways yeah so I'm gonna show you how to transform this into this so let's get started with a new composition boom so first thing you're gonna want to do is go to your text tool because usually that's what people make titles with what you're going on is you're gonna want a good font I'm using bank gothic and just to let everybody know I mean I've been see I've been seeing people overuse this font a lot Back the fuck off, okay? Only I can overuse this font. I've been overusing this font forever, and no one else can overuse it but me, okay? So screw you. Anyways, um, back to the tutorial. You're going to want to turn on this right here. This is small caps. No matter what text you're using, usually capital letters look better in titles than lowercase letters. And what this does is anytime you type a capital letter, it'll have a big capital letter. And anytime you type a lowercase letter, it'll have a small capital letter. So here, let me show you the difference. I'll select the, how about, ooh, Arial. Yeah. So we'll do, first I'll turn it off, I guess. Boom. Grizz. Okay, that looks really pretty crappy. Turn this on and boom, it instantly looks better. Ain't that just amazing? Okay, so small caps turned on, good font selected, don't overuse my font. I'll find out where you live and do completely nothing about it. Okay, so, gonna wanna make your two titles. I'm going, well, not two titles. You're as many text layers as you need. I will be making two. The, and then another one, Rape Taj. The reason that I have both the first letter and the last letter capitalized is it looks a lot better when you put something in the center because I'll have the V right here. And if I take this and have this looks, it, it's not balanced. And balance is a very important part of editing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these layers. We're going to bring up the title action safe. You can go right here and bring it up or just hit quotation marks button. I'll put this right, this crap right here. This crap right here. Hell yeah. And now uh, to make the little bar bar things that I have in here, we are going to use rulers. And these are some very helpful things that not many people ever use. That's pretty dumb. So you're going to be wanting to turn on guides and rulers right here. So both of them are checked. And then uh, you're just going to go to the side here on the ruler and click and drag out and you've created a guide now and the guide is basically a an object that it snaps to and just gives you a, str a nice straight line so I'm just gonna be making some bars here yeah there we go and making a few on the inside here mm-hmm okay oh yeah and then I'm going to create a new white solid control Y take a white solid and I'm going to turn it off and then I'm going to use the rectangular mask tool make sure that you have the white solid selected and then click and just drag and fill the squares up it's that simple boom turn the solid back on and you got it right there ain't that just beautiful turn off the guides and the rulers and then you can just play with this a little bit because I mean it's not it's not looking too sexy right now um, the bars are looking a little too fat in the wrong spot. So we'll fix this up a little bit. Move them up. Let's 
scale it down a little bit, move it up again. Boom. Uh, looking bad. Oh, now they're looking too thin. Make it a little bit fatter. Fat. Down. Fatter. There we go. I think that looks good. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, that, that looks pretty decent. Then I'm going to take the V text, and usually when you want the text that's not the emphasize point, so the V is not emphasized, you're going to want to size it down a bit, so I'm just going to size it down, let's say, 15 pixels. Yeah, there we go. That looks a bit better. So as you can see, we've gone from this to this in very little amount of time. It's just a quick, useful trick that I don't see people use very often. And I uh, thought that would be pretty beneficial to show you guys how to do this crap. Peace out.